Hi, this is Professor Nancy Mahan. In this video, we're going to be talking about complex rationals. So what are complex rationals? Well, the word complex means it's complicated. It's not simple, right? And rationals, again, are fractions with polynomials in it. So here's an example of a complex rational. So complex rational is, if you've noticed, it's a fraction within a fraction. Here's the big fraction, and then there's little fractions on top and on bottom. So it's fractions, I would just say it's fractions within another fraction. So it's complicated looking fractions, right? So here, a fraction here and a fraction here, and it's divided by each other. So a fraction divided by another fraction. So there are several ways of doing this problem. I'm going to show you my way of doing it. And again, there's several different ways. And if you like the way that you see it in Alex or from another teacher or tutor, do whatever floats your boat. But I'm going to show you my way because um, the way that I'm going to teach you it is how we do deal with complex rationals is going to be the exact same way with how we deal with solving rational equations. So the next topic is solving rational equations, and it's going to be very similar to the steps I'm going to take for solving for simplifying complex rationals. So here, step one, I am going to find the lowest common denominator of the two small, quote unquote, small fractions. Right, the small fractions meaning here's a small fraction and here's another small fraction. And then there's the big fraction, right? There's the big fraction out here. So find the lowest common denominator of the two small fractions. So here I have two and here I have 12 W. So in this problem, the LCD, two and 12 W, the lowest common denominator is the lowest common multiple. What multiple does two and 12 have in common? 12. So 12 and then multiple w. So the lowest common denominator is 12 w. So what are we gonna do with this LCD? So just like when we deal with equations, which we will be doing next, we are gonna use the LCD and we're gonna get rid of quote unquote small fractions. So we wanna get rid of the small looking fractions by multiplying the numerator or the top and the denominator or the bottom by the LCD. I hope that sounds familiar to you because when we were dealing with equations, in order to get rid of fractions in equation, we multiply the equation by the LCD. In this case, since it's not an equation, but there's just one big fraction here, we're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by the LCD to get rid of the small fractions. So let's see how that looks like. So here I'm gonna multiply everything by 12w. So 12w goes on top when you're multiplying. And I multiply by 12w here. So 12w is in the numerator, right? When you write when you're multiplying it through. So here I'm gonna multiply it by 12w and look what's gonna happen. So if you chose the right LCD, 12 divided by 2 gives me 6. So this here cancels out and I end up getting a six on top, and that just becomes a one, right? So when I multiply the top, I get w minus three times six w. So w minus three times six w, that's the top. Now the bottom, what cancels out? Well, look at this, the 12 w and 12 w cancels out, just become a one, becomes a one, and what's left on the denominator? I have a w squared minus six w, plus nine. No more little fractions. Now we're only left with a big fraction and that's what we want, right? So that makes me happy because now it's no longer complex looking, it's simple. It's just a simple fraction now. So now let's go ahead and step three. Now that you just have one simple fraction, go ahead and continue to simplify the fraction as we've been doing earlier, right? So let's just simplify this. So I need to multiply this through. So when I multiply this through, I get 6w squared minus 18w. Oh, maybe I should just left as such. But anyways, and then I have w squared minus 6w plus nine. So 
I have this one, I multiplied through, I got that, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, maybe I should factor this, because to simplify a fraction, I should factor it. Okay, well, let's factor it. Well, 6w squared minus 18w, whoops, I, it's already factored up here, so I'm just doing double work, my bad. So I'm gonna factor out the 6w, and then inside, I have w minus three. So I just kind of what, did that, then did that, then did that. So I just went back to its home base, right? And then the denominator, I'm gonna to try to factor the denominator using Xbox. So again, I'm gonna do Xbox on the side here. Two numbers that multiply to give me w squared or w and w. Two numbers that multiply to give me nine or three and three. Cross multiply, I get three w, three w. I want a negative six w, so I have a negative and a negative there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I want a negative and a negative, and indeed a negative three times a negative three gives me a positive nine. So therefore, these are my numbers on the bottom. W minus three times W minus three. Now I can say, oh, can I cancel any common factors in the bottom and the top and the bottom? Well, what do you know? W minus three divided by W minus three will just give me one. So now I am left with six W over W minus three. And that becomes my final answer. And again, please, please, please do not cancel the W out, right? Because this is a whole factor. This is a whole factor. You cannot cut an, a, a head from a body, right? So you can't just take out the W here and take out this. They all come together. So you leave it as is.